honestly most likely the same events as the books but with a slight delay, to my beloved brother Stannis Baratheon, your king summons you to be my hand. With Lord Arryn's tragic demise, I need a proven and faithful servant to help run my kingdom. We should have worked together as brothers long ago to run this kingdom, but it is not too late. You worked closely with Lord Arryn before his demise and are the ideal man to pick up from where he left off. You are summoned to return to the capital at once. To my brother his grace, King Robert Baratheon first of his name Lord of the Seven Kingdoms King of the Undulls the Roiner and the First Men Protector of the Realm, I must respectfully request you come to Dragonstone immediately. The capital is not safe for good and honorable men at the moment, and therefore I cannot return there to serve as your hand. I believe Lord Arryn was murdered, and I do not wish to suffer his fate. From Dragonstone we can muster our strength and scourge King's Landing and the kingdom of the dishonorable traitors that have allowed to drain the kingdom like leeches. Please join me at Dragonstone, your brother the hand of the king awaits you. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Stannis asked for the office of the hand the second John Arryn died, he said so to Caitlin. If Robert would grant him, the first thing he'll do would be to attack the Lannister and go to war. Would Robert believe his accusations? Honestly, I think yes, he never liked his wife, and he's horrified by Joffrey. The revelation would make a lot of sense to him. And if he gives Stannis the handship it means that he have trust in him. The thing is the Lannister are toasted, Renly and the Tyrells back Robert. The Lannisters of King's Landing are mostly dead. So Cersei, her children, Jaime, Tyrion, and perhaps Tyrek and Lancel are killed along with their escort. Stannis clearly said he intended to kill them all and I don't see Robert saving them. But it doesn't stop there. Stannis says he'll want to purge the court even beyond the Lannister cause. In Asos he said that Varys should have never been forgiven and that both Littlefinger and Jayanos are corrupt so they are going to be purged if they don't flee on time. Payasel's case would be ambiguous but if Stannis know that he's a Tywin fanboy he'll purge him too. So after one year of handship the whole of the small council and the bureaucracy are purged, except Selmy and Renly, Stannis is the heir, and either Tyrion or Lancel slash Kevin is the weak lord of the West. Stannis would probably forfeit all Lannister debt which means the finances are a lot less shaky. It would come down to another factional fight between a Stannis Florent faction in charge of the Navy and the Gold Watch, and a Renly Tyrell faction with the Treasury. Who would Robert marry will be the paramount question. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.